Hello and welcome to our virtual children's liturgy here at St. Michael's Church. Today is a very special day. It's Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday marks the beginning of Holy Week. And Holy Week is all about the days leading up to Jesus' death and resurrection. Let us start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Eternal God, may we always welcome Jesus into our hearts with joy. Help us to see Christ in all people and to make them feel welcome. We make this prayer to you through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We're going to watch this video here all about Palm Sunday and hear what happens uh, when Jesus went into Jerusalem on that Palm, the first Palm Sunday. God's story, Palm Sunday. So part of God's story happened on a day we call Palm Sunday and it begins like this. Remember how God sent his son Jesus to rescue us? Well, not everybody believed that Jesus was really God's son and the rescuer, but the ones who did believe in him did something pretty cool on Palm Sunday. It started just like any other day for Jesus. He was heading into Jerusalem with his disciples, but before they got there, Jesus did something surprising. He stopped and sent two of his disciples to go get a young donkey from a nearby village. He even told them exactly where the owner had last tied it up. They weren't sure why he needed the donkey, but they obeyed him. Kids, would you be willing to obey Jesus even if he asked you to do something you didn't understand? Anyway, when the disciples got back with the donkey, they threw their coats on its back like a saddle and Jesus climbed up. Pretty soon, the disciples saw why Jesus needed it. See, crowds of people came to the road and started laying coats and tree branches to make a path for Jesus. When this happened, many people recognized that Jesus was a king. Only kings came into a city like this. So Jesus rode the donkey like he was a one-man parade. And the crowds praised Jesus by yelling things like, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord, and peace in heaven and glory in the highest, because they believed Jesus was the rescuer. But remember how some people didn't believe Jesus was God's son? Well, they told Jesus to make everybody stop yelling. They didn't think Jesus deserved to be treated like a king. You know what Jesus said? He told them, if they keep quiet, the rocks will cry out. Well, the people who didn't believe in Jesus didn't like thinking about people or rocks praising him. And that made Jesus sad. He actually started crying. And not just crying, weeping. Here, the people were standing next to the rescuer they'd been wanting and waiting for their whole lives. And they were missing it. But even though Jesus cried, Palm Sunday isn't a sad story. Easter is all about Jesus' amazing rescue, and Palm Sunday is a reminder of just how special that rescue is, and how much Jesus loves everyone. And that's the story of Palm Sunday. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus was traveling. He sent his disciples to get a donkey. People spread coats and branches on the road. They praised Jesus. Some people didn't recognize that he was the king. That made Jesus sad. He had come to rescue them. A few days later, he would show just how much he loves us. And that's a part of God's story. So that is a pretty good video to tell us all about Palm Sunday. So when Jesus came into Jerusalem that day, many people were excited to see him and they welcomed him and they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Um, because they recognized how special Jesus was. Now there were some people who, who were not happy with Jesus coming into uh, town and they did not welcome him. Um, but when we have someone special come to visit us, think of how you make them feel welcome. So maybe somebody in your family that you haven't seen for a long time comes to, to your house to visit, or a new student comes to your class at school. 
school, just like the people uh, in Jesus' time who shouted and waved their palm branches and laid down their cloaks for him, how can you make someone feel welcome? What are some things you can do to show that you are happy that they are there and that you are a very welcoming person? So just take a few minutes to think about that. So maybe we prepare a special meal when we have a visitor come to our house. Maybe we include a new friend at school and play with them outside. There's lots and lots of things that we can do to make someone feel welcome. And we will always want to try and do our best, just like uh, Jesus was did for him. We want to make others feel that way too. We'll just end our lesson today with a closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ Jesus, open our hearts so we may sing your praise. Help us to welcome you into our lives and to see you in all our brothers and sisters throughout the world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining me today, boys and girls. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless all of you and stay safe and healthy. <clears throat>